Hello to anyone watching this. This is Hoshi from Album Hoshi. As you may have noticed, I haven't updated in a while, and so here I am. Uh, I wanted to discuss three new updates, one of which involves streaming on a relatively new platform called eStream. First update, I want to say that I love this model. Uh, it's my first model, and I'll always have a special place in my heart for it. But I have finished a new one, and I've already been using it on VStream. I just wanted to say that I will probably be using the new one going forward. But I might use this one sometimes too. I don't know. It is really cute. But it doesn't have a lot of the features that my new model does. So let's see. Let's let's pull it out. Da, 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 da. Hey! So hold on. Ta da! It's a lot going on, but uh, this is my new model. Yay! I'm really happy with it because there's a lot of features that I added. There's still some small things I would, small adjustments I would like to make, but I think I would like to show you the new updates that I added to them. So first off, let's just start showing off the whole thing. So, I mean, I had a de debut on vstream showing off these details but i'm gonna take a second to talk about them again and maybe add more reference photos and details so this these are the shoes and they're based off my so i have dream shoes that i love from axis femme which is a japanese fashion brand but they are discontinued i even emailed axis femme's support customer support to find out if they're ever coming back no i mean they're not exactly the same but i would love these shoes in real life but I, I, yeah if i move a little bit you can see that the bows have a little bit of physics there the tail has a little bit of physics left and right and anyway so moving up just trying to the legs if you Go down, your face goes down, you the knees bend down. That's kind of cute. This is the skirt. I like the I just made some physics, tried to do my best to make the skirt very skirt-like. And it has macarons and stars and ribbons and lace. And um the rabbit is Lapin, the celestial bunny, my, I guess, mascot, but I would say friend. Let's move on up. So this is Lapin, the rabbit, celestial rabbit. Lapin, the celestial rabbit. Aw, he blinks, he sparkles, look at that. He's so cute, and I hit his physics. I try to add a little bit of fluffiness to his... his Bounciness to his ears and stuff. Anyway. And I, oh my gosh. Working on the physics of all this lace and the ears and the ribbons was a bit of a pain. But it was fun. Anyway. So. Uh, moving on. We have a necklace. Got some bows. Uh, let's see. Uh. So I have a lot of hair. Like his hair is similar to my hair in real life, but my hair in real life is black. But uh, this is, it's just wavy and so much, so much volume in real life. And uh, I was like worried when I was making the design. I was like, is this too much? Is this too much hair? Yeah. My webcam has really weird tracking, so when I turn to the side, I, I'm only using a webcam right now. I do plan to get a new phone. 
at some point. So I will have even better tracking, but so I can, you know, when I'm smiling, the webcam does not track the smiling as well when you turn, turn to the side, unfortunately. But I put a lot of work into the eyes of this model. So, you know, the iris kind of goes back when you turn, turn the head. And the eyes kind of bounce when you see when you blink. Or I blink, I mean. And uh, so if I smile a lot, I will blush like this. <laughs> a little bit, you can kind of see it. But um, it was heavier before, but I turned it down because it was looking a little bit uh, etchy. <laughs> uh, and also, my eyes were going way up. So they were kind of doing a I go by accident. Uh oh. And everything else. I just like the physics of everything. I'm just smile, frown, smile, frown. Ah, the bunny ears. I love them. The bunny ears. So I have a couple emotes now. I can cry. Oh, I'm so sad. This is me when uh oh when a certain death happened in a game that I play I'm playing recently. Okay. <laughs> I can be angry. Mm, I'm so angry, so furious. Mm. And then I can be excited! Yay! Ah! I have to use this more, but I love it. And then there's this shadow, like, oh! Creepy, spooky, yeah! Then if you... This is, could be like, you're scared, like... I'm so scared. What is gonna happen? But if you combine it with the excited, it's kind of creepy, like, <laughs> Sorry. Okay, um, let's turn that off. And then, what else? There's glasses! I have glasses in real life, so... I just thought it would be nice to have some glasses as an option sometimes. What am I saying? Anyway, whatever. I have... I, yeah, I've, I've already started using them sometimes when I stream, so that's cool. Anyway, da -ba -ba, what else? And now there are a couple wave options. So let me just get this focused. A couple wave options. So I can wave with this hand on the right. Yay! This is my favorite waving hand. And as you can see, also, so you can see my... You can see my engagement ring and wedding band. Kind of, if I do this, if I do the way, yay! Cute. I like that. I didn't know you, like, the order you, you get two separate rings. I thought you just got one ring when you got married, but... I mean, you have the option to only wear one. I mean, I'm getting too much into this. Anyway, and then this one, um, you can wave too. Yay! Ah! And then I also have the option, so I trigger these with my hands. So if I hold up the number two, because right now I'm on right arm number one, which is has lapin in it. And then if I hold up the if I hold up the number two. So now you can see my hands are both down, and then that could be useful when I'm on only I don't want I don't want anything else in the the top part of the frame, like if, during streaming or so. But if I hold up the number two, the number one, I mean, you get lopping back. Yay! Anyway, uh, what else? Uh, Oh, I can do a double wave! Yay! Not that I really needed that, but I think it's kind of fun, kind of cute. 
the last feature I have is winking. So I hold up my right hand with the number one. Uh, uh. And that's number two if I hold up the number two. Yay! I love this. So that is the new model. Yay! I do like the last model, but I don't know. I'm really loving the base. This is like uh, the dress is based off a baby, a baby. My favorite baby, the star shines bright dress. Uh, Twinkle Constellation. Apparently, that's the name. And but it means a little different, of course. But but the print has like stars and macarons. I already said that. Anyway, so yeah, this is definitely a Lolita uh, outfit. I love Lolita fashion and Otomeke, which is like maiden style of clothing. The main motivation for this model was driven by another life change that I will delve into shortly. In a few months, I might not have the opportunity to devote as much time to projects. So I decided to bury my head into work and finish this model, which is basically the dream model I've always wanted as a VTuber. It has bunny ears, it's frilly, it's cute. So yeah, that's why I worked on it. So going forward, the style of the face, the eyes, the body will remain the same, but there might be new clothing like and, and hairstyle. There might be new clothing and hairstyle updates in the future. For instance, I want to make a model with a yukata or a bathing suit or a space suit. Because Hoshi is an alien. There's a whole lore to Hoshi I made up. It's on Vstream. With, and it's it's fun. It's I'm a little it's a little tuny, but it's kind of fun. Anyway. So that's my new VTuber model for update number two. Uh, it's just probably the biggest update. Let me get a little closer. So for the next update, which is probably the biggest one, I just wanted to put it out there that I'm pregnant and I wanted to talk about it because I have been gone for a few months because of it. As you may or may not have noticed, I have dropped off the face of the earth. Uh, I should put a disclaimer. This is going to have some pregnancy talk. So if that's kind of if that kind of weirds you out, I'm going to put a timestamp to the uh, Last update, which would be about VStream. Okay. All right. So the beginning of the pregnancy was very tough for me. It felt like I was permanently about to have a cold. I felt weak, fatigue, feverish without the fever. Apparently, that fever feverish feeling is because you're producing more blood. And I read that you produce 50% more blood uh, for the baby. So anyway, than you usually pr would produce, I mean. So it felt like I was sick for weeks. It felt like I was never going to end. I remember, I remember hating having to sleep so much. And feeling sad and lonely because I couldn't tell anyone about the pregnancy at the beginning. Apparently, you should hold off on announcements for pregnancy for if you're when you're expecting, just in case there's a miscarriage or a complication. Because it would be kind of disappointing to tell people, "Oh, yeah, we're having a baby." Oh wait, no, we're not, not anymore. But I mean, there's still a risk of doing of that happening later on in the pregnancy so it's but yeah now I, I i'm just open about it the one thing that got me through all the fake sickness and excessive sleep was my favorite oshinoko ship aqua and kana i would just dream up fanfics about them in my head <laughs> 
Uh, the nausea was probably the worst symptom of pregnancy, especially since I also had a metallic aftertaste to many foods and even drinks, even water. So if anything touched the roof of my mouth, I threw up. If anything tasted bad, even in now that you now that you have the metallic taste in your mouth almost everything tastes bad it can trigger your nausea so like i accidentally swallowed a pill that triggered my gag reflex and i threw up and once i sneezed so heavily that it hit like the impact of the sneeze hit the roof of my mouth and i threw up uh, I drank water too fast. I threw up. It's it was not fun uh, Not cool, so and I mean a lot of times when you feel nauseous you think oh, I gotta you know, I'll drink ginger ale but even ginger ale had an aftertaste so even though it felt like relief to drink ginger ale in the moment the second you're done if I felt nauseous again, maybe even more so it's like you have to really just power through, even if water tastes gross with the metallic aftertaste. Even when water tastes gross, you have to drink it, like sip it slowly and then you drink the water progressively more and more. And then you feel a little more hydrated. You feel a little, uh, it just feels better to feel hydrated instead. Of, it feels better to feel hydrated than dehydrated. <laughs> I mean, I guess that goes without saying. Eventually, I only drank water, not soda. I didn't need soda. Club soda is also good, but, you know, sometimes it also left an aftertaste. I mean, normal water had aftertaste, too. So it's, it's, it's all, it was all, it was all that. Uh, well, anyway, I got through the nausea eventually. And now I feel mostly normal, just easily tired and susceptible to heartburn and gas, embarrassingly enough. Uh, um, yeah, fortunately. But you can take a Pepsid when you're pregnant, which helps. Anyway, now for some more positive things about pregnancy that I wanted to talk about. For the first time in my life, I felt positive about my body in some ways I didn't before. Your belly gets bigger and everyone is congratulating you about it. Uh, to me, is that's really weird. It's so weird. I, I'm used to always feeling self-conscious about my body and always feeling strict of what I eat and what I do. I struggle to feel satisfied with my body before pregnancy and looking back at the old photos, I think I like how I looked before pregnant. Not that I don't like how I look now. It's just I just have a big belly. And um, you gain a little bit of weight with pregnancy, but not that much. You shouldn't be. Not that much. But you gain, you're expected to gain like 30 pounds. Uh, so. Anyway. Uh, so that's been a weird positive to the pregnancy. Also, another fun thing are the cravings. Like. I don't have, I didn't have unusual cravings like people were saying. It's more so I locked Target onto foods that I saw on a menu or in a commercial and I was like, I need that. Some of my cravings include Jamaican beef patties, matcha lattes, tom ka soup, which is like a Thai uh, coconut soup. Burgers, eggplant parmesan on pizza, shrimp and roasted corn chowder from Whole Foods. Uh, what else did I have a craving for? I don't know. I think that's a lot of it. Uh, oh, um, it was a uh, taco. I have a craving still for takoyaki. I need to get that. There's a lot of up and downs with pregnancy, especially if you have mental health issues or you're diagnosed with, like, I'm diagnosed with depression, anxiety, and 
Well, I will have to say I recommend going to counseling if you are feeling you're dealing with anything of that nature. It's really helpful, even in also like counseling for you and your partner during pregnancy uh, or anything. Like, it really helps to develop your like communication skills and coping mechanisms. Uh, it's I can't recommend it enough. So, so last update, more, something more lighthearted. I've started streaming on VStream. A while back, I applied to join their site and didn't expect to hear from them because I don't, I never streamed before. I don't even have a big YouTube channel or anything. But before I knew it, I received an email invitation and now I'm, I started streaming Master Detective Archives Raincode or Detective Raincode, as I like to call it. And I have to say, I've been really enjoying it almost too much. I really enjoy VStream. I love how you get notifications from the people that you're following on Discord whenever they go live. And I love how easy it is to connect the VStream dock to the OBS. I love the that smaller streamers get promoted on the main page a little bit more. I never streamed before, but once I started, it was hard not to stream every day consecutively. I think I streamed three days in a row uh, for a few hours each day, and I started to get addicted to it. It feels nice being able to talk to people while you stream. While you play a video game, I mean. So, but I feel like I also had to take some time to not stream because I mean it's not like a like a it's like a not it's not like I'm doing this for a job though. You know, it would be nice, I guess, to monetize. But if they have, but they're working on that, I guess. But I was just having so much fun. It just it's nice being able to chat with people while you do these things. So. I feel less alone when I do that. I did realize it might be hard for people to jump into a stream of a story-based game if they haven't played the game before or if people miss previous streams. So maybe I'll stream Splatoon or Animal Crossing or something. Uh, anyway, stream streaming can be a little bit nerve-wracking. I think I felt self-conscious the first two streams, but I started to loosen up a bit after that. I'm not sure how often I want to stream, and I kind of like streaming at weird hours so there's not that many people around. I just continue dabbling my toes in it, just see what happens, you know. And that's all for this update. I just wanted to let people, I mean, I don't even think anyone looked at my videos, to be honest, maybe. But, you know, the next video I want to make is about... It's the top 10 favorite anime lists based off the polls. I've been running on my Twitter and on YouTube community channel. And yes, I will still call it Twitter. I can't believe what's going on with Twitter. Anyway, sorry. I'm cool. I'm cool. Chill. Chill. I'll see how I feel about the next video. Uh, I do have an Animal Crossing video. I haven't finished editing, but I'm not sure I really want to. I feel a little... I don't know. It doesn't seem that... I don't know. Anyway, that's all for now. Thank you for watching. Bye!